Hidravlis. History. Reconstruction. Animation. The hydrolysis is noted as the first known organ. Most sources name Ctesibius as the inventor and developer of the hydrolysis. Ctesibius. It is said that he invented the hydrolysis in Alexandria. The hydrolysis was played in the upper classes, at events, and in the arenas of gladiator fights. There were hydrolysis competitions in which Roman emperors, such as Nero, participated. Medals were made for these competitions. The hydrolysis required precise knowledge and was mostly played by slaves of Greek origin in the Roman Empire. In the 4th century the hydrolysis disappeared in the Western Roman Empire. Then in the Eastern Roman Empire, it was mostly replaced by pneumatic organs. European Organ History Hydrolysis 1. Archaeological Finds of Hydrolysis Archaeological discoveries of hydraulic illustrations and fragments have given an enormous boost to the possibility of realistic reproduction of a hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of Dion, Greece, 1st century BC, discovered in 1992. This is the oldest hydrolysis discovered so far. Roman coins, 1st century BC to 5th century AD. Hydrolysis of Aventus, Aventicum, Switzerland, 1st century AD, discovered in 1996. Organ fragments were found. Pompeii, 1st century AD, two fragments of an organ were found, possibly portative organs or hydrolysis organs. Carthage. 2nd to 3rd century AD. Discovered in 1885. Hydrolysis oil lamp. These findings brought a breakthrough in the reconstruction of a hydrolysis. First of all, one could admire a very detailed look of a hydrolysis organ. The Illustrated London News 1904, or The Story of the Organ by Abdi Williams. Report on one of the first functional replicas of a hydrolysis based on this oil lamp. Francis William Galpin built a functional hydraulics based on ancient records and the oil lamps found. Sultan, Mosaic. 2nd century AD. Discovered in 1913. Found in a Roman villa, in Sultan, Libya. On the mosaic to see, are two scenes with hydrolysis and gladiator fighters. Mosaic, Villa Nenning, Germany 3rd century AD. Discovered, in a Roman villa in 1852. Hydrolysis, Aquincum, 3rd century AD. Budapest, Hungary. It is the best preserved Roman organ. One of the most important organ finds ever. It is not clear whether the organ were operated with bellows or with water hydraulic. Sacophage, Ilia Tyrrhenia. Late 2nd century AD. Arles. France.
2. History and Inventor One finds references to the beginning of the European organ history in Egypt in the 3rd century BC. Tacitius is said to have invented a water organ in Alexandria around 246 BC. There are no preserved records of the water organ of Tacitius. Information that he was the inventor comes from Vitruvius, 1st century BC, Roman architect and engineer, and from Hero of Alexandria, 1st century AD, Greek mathematician and engineer. Both point to Ctesibius as the inventor of the hydraulis. Ctesibius was a Greek inventor and mathematician. 3. Hydraulis according to Vitruvius How a hydraulis looked like according to Vitruvius The oldest description of a hydraulis comes from Vitruvius, to be read in, the Architectural Library de Sen, in Volume 10. There was no drawings of the organ in the original description. Musicologists and musical instrument makers have been working since the Middle Ages trying to illustrate the organ described by Vitruvius. Attempts to illustrate the organ described by Vitruvius. 1511, Fra Giovanni Giocondo. This is probably the first full illustrated edition of Vitruvius, the Architectural Library de Sem. In this book you can see an illustration of an organ, next to the text of Vitruvius' water organ. Possibly it should represent the upper part of the organ. 1692, Detailed Drawing of the Water Organ Mechanics, by Salomon Till. Salomon Till writes about an organ, called Hydraulicum, as described by Hero of Alexandria and Vitruvius. He also writes, that it is difficult to understand the descriptions, if one does not have knowledge, of this specific topic. You can already see the cylinders, and the water reservoir. If you would combine Jacondo with Till, you would have already a working water organ. Eighteen ninety nine, Heronios Alexandrini by Wilhelm Schmidt. A illustration of a further developed hydraulis with two cylinders, as described by Vitruvius. 4. Hydraulis, according to Hero of Alexandria what a hydraulis looks like, according to the description of Hero of Alexandria. Hero worked, like Tasibius the inventor of the hydraulis, in Alexandria. In his book, Pneumatica, he describes the basic water organ. There was no illustration of the hydraulis, in the original description. Musicologists and musical instrument makers, have been working since the Middle Ages, trying to illustrate the organ, described by Hero of Alexandria. Attempts to illustrate the organ, described by Hero of Alexandria. 1688, Heronis Alexandrini In this book, you can see an attempt to illustrate Heron's described hydraulis. The first drawing shows the technical construction and the key mechanism. While the second drawing 
shows an organ driven by wind power. 1851, a similar drawing can be seen in The Pneumatics of Hero of Alexandria by Bennett Woodcroft. The drawings in Bennett's book are more detailed. The keyboard mechanism is recognizable. There is another drawing of an organ driven by a windmill. The windmill organ is also described in the Heron texts, but not as specific as the water organ. Seventeen seventy one, new notes of the Royal Society of Sciences at Göttingen, Germany. There is a drawing of a hydraulis with one cylinder, the key technique, and air valves. This drawing of the hydraulis can be found on various websites, mainly with the inscription, Water Organ, according to Heron of Alexandria. Sometimes you can also see this drawing in a slightly different version. Eighteen ninety nine Hydraulis, according to Hero of Alexandria by Wilhelm Schmidt. You can see a hydraulis with one cylinder and with eight pipes. You can also find a technical drawing of a key mechanism and a valve. Hero's organ, powered by a windmill, is also very well illustrated in this book. Five. How the hydraulis disappeared. The hydraulis had no religious use at that time. Described in the Talmud as not suitable for the temple, and by the Christians, banned from the churches. It was banned from the churches, also because of the use of the hydraulis, during the cruel arena fights, in which, also Christians died. Julius Pollux reports that already in the 2nd century AD, there were organs with bellows too, but smaller than the water organ hydraulis. At the end of the 4th century, the Roman Empire was divided into the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. With the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the hydraulis disappeared. It was no longer used in the former Western Roman Empire. But, in the Eastern Roman Empire, the organ continued to exist. Organs were used in the Hippodrome in Constantinople. The pneumatic version, with bellows, was easier to construct and transport, and became more popular, than the hydraulis. On the foundation, of an obelisk of the Hippodrome, one can see today, the oldest known illustration, of a pneumatic organ. An ancient Egyptian obelisk, brought to Constantinople, under Emperor Theodosius I, and erected there in 390 AD. Each side of the pedestal shows a relief. On the south side relief, you can see two organ. The emperor standing in his box, holding a victory wreath in his hand. The water organ appears one more time in Western Europe in the 9th century AD, as drawing, in the Utrecht Psalter.
These images, of water organs appear again, in the 12th century, in the Edwin Psalter, an adapted copy of the Utrecht Psalter. According to current knowledge, the further development of the pneumatic organ in Western Europe began in the 9th century. Initiated by organ gifts from the Byzantine Eastern Roman Empire. Six hydraulis. How it works. 3D animation. Air is pumped into a bell in the middle. Valves prevent backflow of the air. This air pushes the water out of the bell. The weight of the pushing back water creates a constant air pressure. If too much air is pumped in, it escapes from under the bell. This creates the typical bubbling sound. The air is directed upwards into a air reservoir. From the reservoir, the air is directed into the pipes. By pressing keys and stops, the air can be directed to individual pipes. The air can be directed into cells with the help of stops. One cell supplies a row of pipes. The keys open the air supply for individual pipes. Parts of a key mechanism like that were found in organs in a ventiquum and a quincum. It is said that there were up to eight or more stops. Hydraulis and the Chinese Xing organ, who was first? While the hydraulis is said to be the first organ, the Chinese mouth organ Xing existed hundreds of years earlier. Records of the Xing can be traced back to 1100 BC. The reed technique as used in the Xing known in Europe 3,000 years later, in 1780. Because of archaeological finds, it is mostly assumed that the hydraulis was played with flue pipes. The origin of the hydraulis may be found in the panpipes and bagpipes that were already known at the time. But as with the shank, the last stage of development, before the development of the instrument, is not known. Some wild speculation about the origin leads to biblical instruments, such as the Yugab or the Magrepha.